Hey, what's up? This is Nelson from Pittsburgh Area Airsoft, and today we're going to review the Echo One JP32 E90 P90, whatever you want to call it. And for I'm just going to get this over with now. This sight is a Swiss Arms Red Dot. Yeah, I'm a fan of Swiss Arms. They're cool, but don't buy their guns. They kind of suck. And it's okay. Works. Yeah. Onto the gun. It comes with two uh, normal cap magazines, low cap, holds 68 rounds, it fits really well, but fake bullets, less room for ammo, yeah, it comes with a speed, doesn't come with a speed loader, I'm sorry I lied, but you probably have one or you can probably go buy one, and a little BB release, yeah, if you don't want to use the rest of your ammo, but it also comes with this, I don't know, foot and a half unjamming rod, like tipped end for putting your rag in it, uh, and I'm sorry, sl slotted end and tipped end for unjamming your gun. It comes with the charging handle. It do it is not functioning. It's just for looks. The bull ejection port is below the gun, since it is a bullpup design, and. I like bullpups myself, but I didn't buy like the Riz system yet, or the sling adapter, or the butt pad, or the box mag. I just have these two. It comes with two mags out of the box. It comes with a battery and a charger, but I'm not going to bring those out. It's a 9.6 volt. It comes with a standard charger you can get with like any other. It's a mini type battery. Or no, it's not a mini type, it's a mini plug battery. It goes in the butt pad. There's plenty of room. You could probably use a bigger battery. Not too much bigger, though. Yeah. So, give me a minute. All right, here we go. So, you put your mag in like this. The magazine, at least, is back behind the magazine. You pull both of these back. Remove your mag. Yeah. And then, there's no room for, like, a grenade launcher or whatever, since this is an SMG. But there is a grip. It's pretty comfortable. And then, the trigger group. Safety is below the trigger, right below the trigger. It's got auto, semi, and safe. And even on auto, you can pull the trigger halfway back for semi and all the way back for auto. Simple. It shoots around 370 to 400 FPS, which is pretty good with two point twos. Point twos are all we can really find around here since there's no major stores. So, yeah. It's point twos. Probably going to order some different grades of BBs online. I'm buying an Airsoft GI shipment soon, getting a job. Yeah. So it says it comes with a metal flash hider, but in the United States, you just get your blazing orange tip, since we live in the United States, and they want to recognize this as a fake gun and not a real firearm, which kind of contradicts itself since these are. They look like bullets, but they're not. But I would fire this now, but the battery is dead since I didn't charge it yet. I've had this gun for about a year, and I ghetto rigged this two-point sling, but I made it one point. These are just ties, like, and like there's a little sling part down here, I don't know. And it comes with about a, I'm going to say a four or five inch rail, and then two one inches on the side, so you can put like a mini flashlight or a laser. I wouldn't put one of those huge like Echo One or JG battery boxes on here because they will not fit. But if you have a box mag, the box mag will start like right here, and there's plenty of room, plenty of room for like a 10 volt battery or a 10.8 or whatever you want to use. It'll accommodate a huge battery. But I'm I'm too cheap for that right now and will not buy one. But like I said, I'm not doing the firing test, so. That's going to do for, oh, and in case you want to know, there's another little sling mount here. I had some ties there, but I clipped them off because I just decided to use this. But this has been a review of the Echo One E90. And yeah, have a good day.